Hi everybody, Pastor Marquardt here. And hard to believe here we are at the end of January, but we're gearing up for another special season at Grace. The season of Lent, it begins on February 14th, Valentine's Day this year, which will also be Ash Wednesday. And along that whole season through the rest of February and almost all of March, we'll be using a special challenge as we've done in some seasons in the last year or two. This one is called The Forgiving Challenge. Its author is Zach Zender, and he is continuing in the series of challenges. This particular guidebook is a 40-day guidebook through what it means to be forgiven, kind of leading us to see and appreciate in a more deep way what God's forgiveness in Jesus is all about for us. Now, as I said, we've had some other challenges before. The original one was the red letter challenge in which various others were introduced. And these then are more of a deep dive. The last one we did was the being challenge. And this is the forgiving challenge or how to understand and appreciate better God's forgiveness for us. Now, in his uh, scheme through this whole book, Zach, the author, talks about scars and kind of using that as an outline. The scars of Jesus, we know were there and are there for us. Something that I've considered uh, when you get to see Jesus in heaven, those scars are going to be there. His physical body uh, with evidence of what he has done for each one of us. Now, using that word, scars, uh, Zach then kind of goes through five different uh, thoughts or themes throughout the book. Scars starts with S for sin. And we know sin. We know when we mess up. We know when we have failed to do what God really expects of us. But then if we confess, which is the C, then we're admitting it to God. We're bringing it up to him, uh, saying, I know I've messed up, and please forgive me. The A of scars is absolution. We often use the word forgiveness. But absolution is also that same idea that God in Jesus forgives all our sin, wholeheartedly, absolutely, 100% forgiven. The R of scars is restoration, in which uh, we're reminded that we're set free, free to live a whole different way, knowing our sins are forgiven. And that final S of the word scars is about sanctification what it means to continue working and plowing through life as one of God's redeemed, restored, forgiven kids. I think it's a good uh, hook to hang our thoughts on this whole Lenten season. The idea of scars and forgiveness. It really is at the heart of Ash Wednesday, of Holy Week, of the whole season of Lent, that our sorrow for sin is not enough, that there would be a savior who would take our sins upon himself. That is enough. I'm looking forward to another challenge like this with you, and uh, I'm sure we'll be looking at it in different ways on Sunday mornings, as well as through some other uh, Bible study groups that happen during the week. If you have been a part of one of those before, then you know uh, what that will be like. If you've never done it, maybe this is a time to join in on one of those groups. Um, we've got different groups going on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and, uh, and then again on Sunday morning. It'll be a, a theme for our Sunday morning consideration all through the season of Lent as well. A couple of things before we go. Um, we've got bookmarks. I think we used something like this before. It's a handy guide to help you remember to go through those 40 days of the challenge. And it's got the themes and different scripture references on it. And then there's a bigger calendar that you can post or keep in a book uh, that talks about 
um, the different uh, parts of scars, as I've mentioned. Again, 40 days and um, scripture reference for each and every day. The books are available for purchase wherever you look for books. And as a special feature this time, we're doing a drawing. Uh, we've got about 10 copies of this book that we uh, have already purchased through a Thrivent uh, Action Team grant. And um, if you want to look for one of those, um, we've got drawing bags at the entrance to both of our worship sites. Please enter the drawing this Sunday, January 28th, because we're going to pick uh, uh, from those entries on Monday morning and let you know right away so you can pick up your copy. Again, available for purchase all over the place. You can go to Red Letter Challenge, Amazon, or wherever. But um, if you'd like a free copy, drawing will be this very weekend on, uh, well, we'll be doing the drawing on Monday morning. So those are the parts of the challenge this time, the forgiving challenge. What a great reminder for you, for me, for all of us, that we live as God's forgiven people each and every day in Jesus. Thanks for listening and watching. We'll see you soon.